So in this video, I said that the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 was the best bag to start your collection, but I don't think this is true anymore. With Louis Vuitton price increases, when you're buying new, they are just becoming more and more unattainable. But don't you worry because I've come up with five realistic, affordable and desirable bags to start your plunge into the world of luxury. I've included bags from incredible creative directors, classic luxury brands and fan favorites. The last one in this list is by far my favorite and I am so surprised that we don't see many of them. It looks like a premium luxury designer bag and the materials are super high quality for the price that it is. So you're welcome. Before we start, I think we would all agree that to start your collection, you want something that will last you a long time so you can make memories with it, maybe pass it down to a loved one in the future. And because who wants to spend a load of money on something and not get use out of it? You also want something that's durable so you don't have to worry about being really delicate with it. You can throw it around and stuff all your essentials in it. And lastly, you want something versatile so you can get a lot of wear out of it for multiple occasions, whether that be running errands, a shopping trip, or going on a night out. So here goes, here are my top five beginner luxury bags. So in number five, I would choose the Marc Jacobs tote bag. The prices start from £195. It is a very classic shape. It's actually very similar to the Chloe Woody tote, which starts at £610 for the smallest sizes and goes up to over £1,500. You've got four different sizes, the micro, the mini, the medium, and the large. And if you actually go on the Marc Jacobs website, they have a really useful size guide to show you like what you can fit in each bag. There are tons and tons of variations of this bag. You can get it in all sorts of colors and they do materials like leather, canvas, mesh, shearling and monogram. If you can't find one that you like, you are just super picky. And what I really like about this bag is that you can get it either super branded or quite minimalistic branded. It does have like the full logo saying the tote bag Marc Jacobs on the bag. But if you didn't like big logos on your bags, you can actually get it monochrome. So like if you get an orange bag, you can get orange font. So you can still see the logo, but it blends in much more with the bag. For me, a really, really good starter bag from one of the most talented creative directors of our time. In number four, and some of you may argue with me on this one, but I have chosen the Jacquemus Le Chiquito Le Petit. So these start at around £385 for the basic ones. Now, like I said, it's a controversial one, but I stick by it. The mini bag trend has definitely been that over the last few years, but we cannot forget the brand that started it all. Jacquemus was the whole reason that the hype started in the first place. And with a bag under £400, they deserve to be on this list. Again, it comes in so many different colors and materials, leather, suede, linen, cloth, tweed. They are really quirky and cute and they literally just created this whole new shape of a bag which I just love. And yeah, you may not be able to fit loads in it, but just kind of look at it like a wallet or a purse with a strap that you can fit all your essentials in. ID, keys, chewing gum, money. That's all you need for a day out. I think Simon Port Jacques Moose is going to be one of the biggest designers we are ever going to see one day. And it would be great to have one of his early pieces in your collection, wouldn't it? In number three, I've chosen the Diesel 1DR and these start at £295. But there is a catch with this one. So this has been one of the biggest gate kept bags over the past couple of years. But I'm out here exposing it for you. You really need to get one of these whilst a lot of people don't know about them yet. Again, another bag for under £400 and it is probably the coolest looking on this list. The shape is super unique and the new diesel logo on the front of it is a real flex. So they have two sizes, the mini and the medium size. And the mini is the one that starts at 295, but I would not recommend this size. I would definitely go for the normal size, which starts at around 395 pounds. So still not super expensive. Just because you can't fit anything at all in the mini one, it's even smaller than the Jacques Mousse Le Chiquito. The prices change depending on the material and the color. The more detailed textures like the shiny leather, the croc leather, the crack leather, and the monogram pieces are all gonna cost you a little bit more. With Diesel's new strategy and the resurgence of Y2K fashion becoming popular again, this is probably the only type of bag that I would be interested in if it was my vibe. And in number two, coming from an absolute classic look brand and that is the Lueve basket bag. I think the fact that Lueve is one of the oldest luxury brands and it has a bag for this cheap and as practical as it is, is just incredible. If you look at its usual prices, they're around the same as the likes of Louis Vuitton, Christian Dior and Chanel. The fact that Lueve have this option is just amazing really. So the prices start from just £395 and depending on the shape and the size, they go up 
to still only £550, which for me is just an absolute no-brainer, and especially coming into the summer months when a wicker bag is just an essential. The shape variation on this bag is great. You can get smaller and larger pieces of the same bag, or you can completely switch it up with strap styles, and even the actual shape of the bag. Ella actually put a poll on this in the Look Circle the other day, which by the way is where we have all our daily conversations with you guys about all things luxury. But anyway, we asked you what you think is the best beginner luxury bag, and here are all the results. If you want to join in the conversation next time, just subscribe to see our posts. And in number one, which is by far my favorite, and it is the Coach Tabby bag. So these bags start at just £395. And you're probably wondering, why do I like this bag so much? And I must admit, Coach is never a brand that I really liked until about a year ago. I just think that they understand their customer so much. And it's really nice to see a brand cater to exactly what their audience wants. The materials from leathers to monograms, the styles, the hardware, the shape are all, to me, perfect ingredients for the best luxury beginner bag. And they even do them in a lot of different styles. The classic tabby, which is a more structured piece. The pillow tabby, which is a softer, more cushiony, cloud-like bag, which is my favorite variation of the bag. The soft tabby, which is a slightly bigger, lighter alternative. The messenger, which gives real work bag vibes. And the box bag, which is not given too much, but it just gives you an extra option if you like that type of style. Thank you for watching this video. I am very interested to hear your thoughts on my top five list of the best beginner luxury bag. And I wanna know which was your first luxury bag, or if you're thinking of getting one in the next couple of months, which one is it? Make sure you check out this video if you wanna educate yourself more on all things luxury. I will see you in the next one.